How much is this going to cost me exactly? Everything you've heard? Completely true. You leave me no choice! How much is this going to cost me exactly? I just hope I can help. As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. You leave me no choice!
Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. Explain this. I... can't. What do you mean, you can't? I don't know what that is, or how it got there. You're lying! We need him, Cassandra. Whatever you think I did, I'm innocent. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Things were chasing me, and then... A woman. A woman? She reached out to me. But then... <sighs> Go to the Ford camp, Liliana. I will take him to the rift. What did happen? It... will be easier to show you. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. You say it may be the key? To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however. And yours. You still think I did this? To myself? Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is. And you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. So I don't really have a choice about this. None of us has a choice. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves, as she did. Until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me?
Your mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. Open the gate. We are heading into the valley. Pulses are coming faster now. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows. your weapon now all right have it your way wait I cannot protect you and I cannot expect you to be defenseless I should remember you did not attempt to run. Take these potions. Maker knows what we will face. Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp or fight. We are on our own for now. There! Watch out! If we flank them, we may gain the advantage.
can hear the fighting. Who's fighting? You'll see soon. We must help them. It is yours. At least this is good for something. Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Varric Tethras, rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. Are you with the Chantry, or...? <laughs> Was that a serious question? Technically, I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca and I have been through a lot together. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. You seem to know a great deal about it all. Solus is an apostate. Well versed in such matters. Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade. Far beyond the experience of any circle mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the Breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed regardless of origin. That's a commendable attitude. Merely a sensible one. Although, sense appears to be in short supply right now. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly.
demons ahead. Glad you brought me now, Seeker. Are you innocent? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. It's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. animated through all this. She's resourceful, Seeker. We will see for ourselves at the forward camp. We're almost there.
Open the gate. Right away, Lady Cassandra. We are clear for the moment. Well done. Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. We must prepare the soldiers. Ah! Here they come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who he is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. So none of you are actually in charge here? You killed everyone who was in charge! Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. How do you think we should proceed? Now you're asking me what I think. You have the mark. And you are the one we must keep alive. Since we cannot agree on our own... I say we charge. I won't survive long enough for your trial. Whatever happens, happens now. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker. if we had to get past.
shield, as before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works on the big one. Lady Cassandra, you managed to close the rift. Well done. Do not congratulate me, Commander. This is the prisoner's doing. Is it? I hope they're right about you. We've lost a lot of people getting you here. You'll lose a lot more unless I get to the breach. Indeed. The way to the temple should be clear. Liliana will try to meet you there. Then we'd best move quickly. Give us time, Commander. Make her watch over you, for all our sakes. Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That is... out of the faith and there are so just found you they say a woman was in the rift behind you no one knows who she was your men take up positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? I'll try. But I don't know if I can reach that, much less close it. No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down, and be careful. Hearing. At a guess, the person who created. called out to you, but... What's going on here? Run while you can! Run them! 
We have an intruder. Kill him now. You were there. Who attacked? And the Divine, is she? Was this vision true? What are we seeing? I don't remember. Echoes of what happened here. The Fade bleeds into this place. This rift is not sealed, but it is closed. Albeit temporarily. I believe that with the Mark, the rift can be opened. And then sealed properly and safely. However, opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side. That means demons! Stand ready!
I didn't know you were awake. I swear. Is this another prison? I... no. I mean, I don't think so. Then where am I? Tell me. I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You're back in Haven, my lord. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. <sighs> then the danger is over. The breach is still in the sky, but that's what they say. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. That's him. That's the Herald of Andraste. They said when he came out of the Fade, Andraste herself was watching over him. Hush. You shouldn't disturb him. I believe Seeker Cassandra would like to speak with you. Chain him! I want him prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that and leave us. 
You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. So I'm still a suspect, even after what we just did? You absolutely are. No, he is not. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone Most Holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to him for help. So his survival, that thing on his hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. You can't honestly believe I'm any kind of chosen one. We are all subject to the will of the Maker, whether we wish it or not. No matter what you are or what you believe, you are exactly what we needed when we needed it. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers, and now no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. What is the Inquisition of old, exactly? It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. After? They laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order, but the Templars have lost their way. We need those who can do what must be done united under a single banner once more. But aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> Is that what you see? The Chantry will take time to find a new Divine. And then it will wait for her direction. But we cannot wait. So many Grand Clerics died at the Conclave. No, we are on our own. Perhaps forever. You're trying to start a holy war. We are already at war. You are already involved. Its mark is upon you. As to whether the war is holy, that depends on what we discover. What if I refuse? You can go if you wish. You should know that while some believe you chosen, many still think you guilty. The Inquisition can only protect you if you are with us. We can also help you. It will not be easy if you stay. But you cannot pretend this has not changed you. When I woke up, I certainly didn't picture this outcome. Neither did we. Help us fix this before it's too late.
Does it trouble you? I just wish I knew what it was, or how I got it. We will find out. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you the Herald of Andraste, and that frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading... Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I'm no herald of anything, particularly not Andraste. <laughs> I'm sure the Chantry would agree. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. They aren't more concerned about the breach, the real threat. They do know it's a threat. They just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make it worse. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald.
Has Cassandra spoken to you about my new recruits? They are not your recruits, Commander. They're our. Let's see what we have. Let us begin. Right. The Inquisition cannot remain, Ambassador. If you can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the breach. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. How does Durelion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denver, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. We were honored to lend its use to Divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. Interesting, considering the Inquisition was begun by the left and right hands of the Divine. I've seen no written records from Sister Liliana or Seeker Pentacus that Justinia approved the Inquisition. 
If he won't take her at her word, I'm afraid Seeker Pentagast must challenge him to a duel. What? It is a matter of honor among the Navarans. Shall I arrange the bout for tonight? No, no. Perhaps my reaction to the Inquisition's presence was somewhat hasty. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Do the Durellians actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durellions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. I apologize for the intrusion. I didn't realize you were meeting with the Marquis. You did little harm. In truth, the debate was most beneficial as practice for those to come. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orlais. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. May I ask what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Good day to you. Let's speak later. Fair one. If you find anything, please bring it in. You are the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. I never really wanted to leave the Circle. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker, Pentagas, and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. You said Cassandra has you researching creatures. Yes. If you find anything interesting in your travels, I'd appreciate you bringing it to me. I may be able to find some weakness our soldiers can exploit when fighting various creatures. But at the least, some materials are useful for making potions or gear for the Inquisition. Why did you decide to research dangerous creatures? I like the outdoors. The idea of the outdoors, anyway. When some monster is coming at you, glowing eyes and burning claws, it's terrible. Travel safely. Oh, may I hear my cry. Seat me by your side in death. Make With me With passion and breath me. does the darkness creep. It is the whisper in the night, the lie.
those who steal from their brothers and sisters do harm to their livelihood and to their peace of mind. Our maker sees this with a heavy heart. are the righteous, the light and the shadow. In their blood the Maker's will is written. Start tearing off shirts then. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. None of this shit should have happened. You don't know the half of it. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and Maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this... Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. The breach needs to be sealed. The sooner the better. If it can be sealed. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky, that's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Good day. Or good as it could be with the sky ripped apart. Can I see what you have for sale? Of course. My wares are at the table.
got demons pulling out of the rift. of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's an honor to meet you, my lord. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but... they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose.
dispatch for you. What is it? This could help us. Watch your step. Uh, Mother Giselle ought to be around here somewhere. Inquisition forces. They're trying to protect the refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Hold. We are not apostates. I do not think they care, Sitka. Not Templars. We mean you no harm. Doesn't look like they're listening. Ready. More coming our way. There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, Mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. 
Mother Giselle? I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. I'm told you asked for me. I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. And that's an excuse? They're making things worse. They don't know that. This is my point. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. You want me to appeal to them? If I thought you were incapable, I wouldn't suggest it. Will they even listen? Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. Their power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. You make it sound simple. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us or destroy us. I will go to Haven and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. Corporal Vale is coordinating the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. Hungry night. These people need food? There are rams out in the hills. Good eating, cooks easy, and no lords around to kill you for poaching. Too dangerous to go hunting now. More likely to find mages than muck. Good luck. Luck won't put fat on your ribs. Inquisition. 
Corporal Vale, thanks for your help. The Majors and Templars don't seem to care who gets caught in their war. The refugees here are in dire need of help. If the war doesn't kill them, cold or starvation will. What other problems do these refugees face? We've got some injuries that go beyond Stitches and Elfrid. I know healers are in short supply, but if you can find someone in Redcliffe to help us, it would save a lot of lives. You were concerned about refugees starving? Yes. Many of them brought food, but they expected to be home by now, or safe in a city. There's a hunter up the hill who has some ideas. What can you tell me about the man who's supposed to be getting horses for the Inquisition? Horse Master Dennett. He lives on a farm to the west. Tough old fella. We haven't heard from him. Best we can tell, he's old up until the Majors and Templars are done killing each other. Is there anything we can do to help people deal with the cold? I asked the Inquisition to send blankets. You'd think I was asking for a wagon of raw lyrium. A recruit named Whittle is trying to make what we can bring in last. If you have any ideas, talk to him across the road. What can you tell me about the Templars? All the Templars were called to Val Royo not long ago. These bastards ignored the order. Now they're killing rebel mages, along with any refugees they think are mage sympathizers. Every Templar I've ever known has wanted to protect the common folk. These men defile their order's good name. What can you tell me about the rebel mages? The real rebels are up north in Redcliffe, dug in and taking care of their own. The ones out here are just apostates, locked up in the circles all these years, and now they've gone mad with power. The rebels in Redcliffe have washed their hands of them. I wish we could do the same. Farewell. And you as well. Go be with you. No, they don't. It's just what I heard. Welcome back. Do you know what it was? Yes, sir.
know if you find one. Anything we can do, just ask. It's good to have come up. Stored. I've many goods here if you wish to trade. Very well. Are you sure? Yes. Someone, anyone, please help my wife. What do you need to keep these refugees warm? Blankets, warm clothes, all of it. These poor sods lost everything when the mages and the Templars went crazy. If we were in a village, I could just pinch a blanket off a clothesline and be fine. Out here, I'm sure the apostates have plenty of supplies, just haven't been able to find them. Farewell. I'll see you. Look at this. The apostates have gone mad with power. I see just as many Templars.
pleased to hear it. have gone mad with power. The Templars aren't looking any better here. Look at this. The apostates have gone mad with power. I see just as many Templars. if we are to secure the Alliance.
normal wolf would fight with such determination. The breach may have driven them mad, or perhaps a demon took command of the pack. This must be Master Dennett. There must be something here. Dennett. I served Arl Eamon for 30 years as Horsemaster. I hear your Inquisition is looking for mounts. It is. Can you help us? Not at the moment. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. You'll have mounts once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. If you have a problem with me personally, I'd like to know about it. What? No, I've got no bad blood with free marchers. Maker, I had kin flee to Kirkle when the last blight tore this land apart. My wife Elena manages the farms and Bronze in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock-kneed plowneg they gave you. The chestnut over there is a purebred Ferelden forder. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition.
Fancy trying out one of my courses? What kind of racing are you talking about? I set up a course over there with stakes in the ground. It's too narrow to race directly, so I time it with a sand glass. You try to ride the course before I call time. I'll try one of your courses. Wonderful. Get your horse and I'll set up the stakes. You make time, I'll throw in some of the dress money father gave me. Consider it a donation to the Inquisition. like to try again. like to try again. like to try again.
set up the next course. Great. Go get mounted. I'll put up the stake straight away. another race set up the next course great go get mounted I'll put up the stake straight away
mages and the Templars chose a poor location for working out their differences. What's with the skull? The skull illuminates certain objects in the distance. I am not familiar with such magic. Of course, it had to be a skull that lights up creepy shit.
nothing to report, sir.
That's the King's Road down there.
a seeker, you're the highest ranked person in the in.